Welcome back, Bobcats. Now that you've learned how to write algebraic equations, it's time to take what you've learned and practice it. Problem number one. Which of the following is true for 2g plus 6? One, it's representative of an equation. Two, there are multiple possible values for g. Three, it's representative of an expression. Or four, there's only one possible value for g. Choose your answer. Okay, the correct answer is C, two and three only. So let's look at what is not correct. Number one says that it is representative of an equation. That's not true because an equation has to have that equal sign and there is no equal here. And number three, I'm sorry, and number four, there's only one possible value for g. Because we don't know what this expression is supposed to equal, we could substitute really any value for g. So this one can have multiple values for g. If it was an equation, there would only be one value for g. Okay, problem number two. Craig is C years old. His 12-year-old sister, Becky, is three years younger than Craig. You're going to need to define the variable and then write the equation. Okay, let's define the variable. In this case, we are actually already given the variable C. So we need to say what the C represents. The C represents Craig's age. So defining the variable, you should have chosen let C equal Craig's age. And now write your equation. Okay, let's look at our problem situation. Before we write the equation, you always want to find the total amount, the equals amount. So looking through, we know we don't know Craig's age. We know that Becky is three years younger but we know that Becky is also 12 years old. This is our equals amount, okay? Whatever is going to equal 12. So the equation is going to be C minus three equals 12. You take Craig's age, C. We know that Becky is three years younger. Younger means to subtract. So we subtract three from Craig's age and it's going to equal 12. Problem number three. Sonia rented ice skates for H hours. The rental fee was $2 per hour and she paid a total of $8. Define the variable and then write an equation. Okay, let's define the variable. We are actually given the variable H and what does the H stand for? The number of hours the ice skates are rented. So you're defining the variable should be H. Let H equal the number of hours rented. And now write your equation. Looking through, we see that she paid a total of $8. This is your equals amount. It's going to equal eight. Well, what is gonna equal eight? The cost of renting the skates. We know that it's $2 per hour. This per means to multiply. Two per times the hour, which is H. So your equation would be two H, which means two times H equals eight. Problem number four. On Saturday morning, Owen earned $24 raking leaves. By the end of the afternoon, he had earned a total of $62. Write an equation to determine how much Owen earned raking leaves Saturday afternoon. Define your variable and write your equation. Okay, to define the variable, we need to find what are we looking for. In this case, we're not given the variable. So what we're looking for is how much Owen earned raking leaves Saturday afternoon. We know how much he earned in the morning, right? We wanna know how much he earned in the afternoon. So you can use any variable that you want. Let R equal money earned raking leaves in the afternoon. Now write your equation. Okay, we know we're looking for the afternoon, that is unknown. Do we know the total amount? Yes, he earned a total of $62. This is your equals amount. It's going to equal 62. We know what he made in the morning plus what he made in the afternoon equals the 62. So our equation is going to be 24 plus R equals 62. 
And problem number five, which situation is represented by the equation x plus eight equals 23? Go ahead and go through your answer choices and determine which situation you would use this equation to represent it. Okay, let's look at answer choice A. John had 23 baseball cards. His friend gave him eight more. Already, this more means to add, so we know we're gonna add eight. How many cards did John have then? So it says that John had 23 baseball cards. This is your equals. This equation is going to be x minus eight equals 23. When his friend gave him eight more, his total changed, right? So we have to subtract it, his new total minus the eight that he was given will equal his original amount of 23. Answer choice B, the length of a rectangle is 23 units. Its width is eight units more than the length. What is the width X of the rectangle? Do we know a total? Look for your equals amount. We do, we know that the length is 23. Here's your is 23. So this is gonna equal 23, which is what we want. We know that the width is eight more than the length. And you're looking for the width. So this would also be x minus eight equals 23. You're trying to find out how you would get the 23. If the width is more than the length, then you have to take the width minus the eight to equal the length. C, Billy has 23 dimes. He has eight more dimes than nickels. How many nickels x does Billy have? All right, we know he has 23, this is our equals. So equals 23 dimes. He has eight more dimes than nickels. So if I take the number of nickels and I add eight to it, does it equal the number of dimes? Let's see, yep, x plus eight equals 23. Let's go ahead and take a look at D, just for the fun of it. A number x multiplied by eight has a product of 23. So we know the answer is 23. This is our equals amount, but this multiplied, that's not the operation we're looking for. So the correct answer, so that one would have been eight x, eight times x equals 23. So the correct answer, the one we were looking for, was C. Nice job, Bobcats.